Hi guys and welcome to this month's Greenwich Literary Symposium Book Club Review. Cheers. This month we have been reading Hagseed by Margaret Atwood. This month. Taken us, it's taken us a bit longer, hasn't it? Yeah. It's taken us about six... You know, I read this... First. Um, about, I finished about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You two have let the team down. I finished yesterday. I finished yesterday as well. I found it quite a hard read, even though I, I, I kind of enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, like, Hagsheed is a retelling of The Tempest, Shakespeare's Tempest, through the story of somebody putting on a prison production of The Tempest, mm. um, which is really clever. It's not a completely original concept, but it's really clever. Yeah, I thought it was clever. Um, but I'm just going to get straight in there. I just didn't care about anyone. I, I didn't oh, care okay, about Felix. Yeah, yeah um, I, I agree, because I, afterwards I read, oh, um, I'm not ashamed to say that I cried, like one of the reviews in the back. Didn't cry and have a lump in my throat at all. No, I, I really did not give a shit about anybody in yeah. it. And I don't know if it was on purpose, but the all the prisoners that were that were his actors, there was no character development of them, and they were a huge part of it. But you didn't really get to know any of them, and whether that was because this Felix guy was using just using them to exact no, his revenge. No, because I think he, I think he felt for them. But I don't think we developed that. Yeah, and I was actually a little bit pissed off at the end that I didn't get to know any of these characters, um, but then I had to read three fucking chapters at the end of it about oh. how they felt, uh, about what they thought the characters were. More, were. It's more like, like five chapters at the yeah. end, just a reflection from each of the characters. Yeah, and when we hadn't learned yeah. anything about that, like, yeah, I, I, I really, I really mm. did not like that. Um, However, on that... I think if you know The Tempest really, really well, um, then to read those perceptions of what they thought their yeah. character would have done next would have been really and interesting. And I thought that was all really interesting, but it just didn't fit in with the story. So the story, sort of, I, for me, finished like before those chapters, like with the big um, reveal, like the big production of The yeah. Tempest. And then after that, when I thought, I'll finish it now, there was all this other stuff that I don't feel was necessary at There all. was a hundred pages after the main yeah. event. It's like they decided, oh, it's not quite long enough. So we'll just yeah, write exactly. a bit more. Yeah, exactly. And so like, my feeling was that sometimes that when you get a book, the first bit is hard to get into, but then when you get going, you know, yeah. and you end up with a big climax. I felt like the last bit was the hardest bit to read. And, and yeah. a, little bit, a little bit boring, to be honest. Yeah, so without being too negative, some bits that I enjoyed, I loved the way that Felix was written and I could hear either like Withnail or Brian Blessed reading his character. He was so like dramatic mm. um, and stuff. Anyway, he's, he's a yeah, yeah. theatre director. You expect him to be like that. Yeah. But I, I could hear like Brian Blessed every, every time every time he spoke. I really, really enjoyed that. And the other bit I liked is when he was in the prison working with the prisoners on that educational programme that um, the prisoners weren't allowed to swear, I but they were that. only allowed to yeah. use swear words from, yeah, from the play itself. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I think that's why I find it hard to read, because I feel like I got halfway through and I thought, yeah, this is great. And then nothing really happened after mm. that. But for me, this would have been a much better book had it just been about this guy called Felix who who Wants went to into revenge. prisons. No, without the revenge oh. bit. The revenge bit didn't make sense to me. And the way he got revenge was a bit meh. Mm. And so if it had just been about this guy who went into prisons and, and taught prisoners how to perform Shakespeare with this amazing enthusiasm and the fact that he's got this Miranda in the background I thought was fantastic because he always knew that she wasn't real but she was always there and she was always very real in his head um, I loved that but I just felt like the other bits I, I didn't enjoy that really yeah they were kind of necessary though to make it a retelling of the Tempest well exactly so <laughs> but that I feel like it was forced to make it a retelling of the Tempest rather than yeah. it was a natural thing that happened so 
so for me, it didn't need to be a retelling of the Tempest. There was a really good book in there yeah. that was lost amongst a bit of like forced uh, cleverness, I suppose. Yeah, and I, I think yeah, I completely agree. And like people going into prisons to put on a theatre show is that happens every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's day to day stuff. And I think what Margaret Atwood's really succeeded in doing with this book is taking like the the really like a really fanciful play, Shakespeare play, you know, about this mystical magic storm and island and Prospero the magician and everything. It made it so unbelievably modern day and boring. Mm. It was not boring, just so mundane. It's so really every day there was yeah. it, it's lost all, all the kind of the mystique and like the Yeah, possibly, yeah. You know, the the fairies and the goblins and everything. It's just it was, it was But I love the way the prisoners took that and, and like twisted that. I loved yeah. that. I loved how raw that was, the way the prisoners were like, well, they're not going to be fairies because we're men and we're prisoners and we don't, that's not what we, that's not how we think, but they made it all very relevant to them. But I just felt that, like, you know, you said about the characters, the, the, the we didn't really get to, to sort of really meet them properly. No. I feel like that could have been developed so much more and she could have lost that whole revenge bit yeah. and just focus on that and you could have fallen in love with those characters and then that reflection at the end would have been so appropriate yeah to see how they how they connected with the different um shakespearean characters and, and because i was annoyed after the revenge bit happened and you realize you're only halfway through um i think that then got my back up and i then didn't care anymore i didn't want to know what's going to happen revenge. No. it was really it was really just playing a joke. Yeah, it was a bit naff, wasn't it? And it was a bit like, oh, and then guess what? She, the the actress that they got in, fell in love with this guy. No, they did happily ever after. The problem is, if you don't know the Tempest, which I don't, which I don't at all. Um, I, d I think the book is lost on you. Yeah. Possibly. And the fact I know you kept saying, um, but there's a summary of the Tempest at the end. Read that first. But I was like, well, no, it's at the end, so I'm not going to read it until the end. Mm. Um, when actually, I think it should have it should have set it out from the beginning. Yeah. Like this is the story of the Tempest. Yeah, maybe. I I had I did read the Tempest at school, so. I kind and do you feel like do you feel like that made more sense to you then, perhaps? But I read the synopsis, the the brief, yeah. the, the synopsis read that of first, the Tempest. Yeah. I, read, I read it first, and yeah, it did. Piece, piece it all together. Yeah, I, I was too bored to read that first. I wanted to be gripped because when I read a book, I want to be, I want to be gripped by it. And so I kept thinking, no, I'll just wait until I'm gripped. And I, I never got gripped. I think we were spoiled last month with the Martina Carl one mm, that got possibly. us all from the beginning. Yeah. It was, it was. I, I quite liked it. I quite liked the idea, but it, it lacked something for me. And, and I think it was, it was too sort of setting this other story that it didn't need to be. Yeah. I mean, I know, cause we all know we're doing this book club because we didn't really read. Mm. Um, we're trying to get into reading. Uh, at some points, I was kind of thinking, is this a bit too literary for me? Have I, have I, have yeah, I got to the so point, great. you know, is this kind of at the, the top end of this being a bit literary for, for yeah, me to maybe. enjoy it properly? Cause I, I felt like the beginning, definitely, when it was talking about his life, like, I felt a little bit lost in it. Yeah. But no, I've read. We've read books before. I've read Shakespeare before. We've, yeah. We can, we can deal with that. <laughs> I, I, maybe it just wasn't for us. I don't know. Yeah. So stars. I'm going with a three because I did. I did like it. And, I, and this is why we kind of kept putting book club off because I really wanted to finish it properly and not skim read it and rush it. End up skim reading it and rushing it because I finished it yesterday. <laughs> so. Mm. Um, but I did like it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I... So I'm going with a three. I'm going with a, a three as well. For similar reasons. Like, it, there was bits of it that I really, really did did like. But as a whole, it didn't really do it for me. Yeah. Um, I'm going with a one. Wow. I thought you might have done. Um, because, you know, it was hard to get into, which I find with the majority of the books. But then about kind of 100 or 50 pages in, I was like, okay, it's kind of getting there. You know, I've got a bit, there are about three chapters that piqued my interest. And mm -hmm. then it started to go downhill. And then when what I thought was going to be the end of the book became the middle of the book, 
um, I was like, I'm not yeah. interested now. And then I, it lost me, and I didn't care about the rest of the book. Um, and that that whole every prison inmate reflecting on what their character would have done next in the Tempest, I think, is probably really interesting to people that love Shakespeare and love that play to look at the interesting yeah. ways that they've thought about it. Um, but there's nothing about this book that said for hardcore Tempest fans, and I think mm. that's what this is. But mm. all the thing at the end with all those, sorry, I know we've, I know we're finished, but a bit at the end <laughs> with all those um, characters. If you'd have, if you'd have known prisoners, mm. if you'd have got yeah. to know them, the their like the way they they'd connected with that character was so unbelievable. The, the way they twisted the ending or, or like extended the story or like there was one group that wanted to then go off and do a whole other play. Yeah. That was brilliant. But it was lost because the story was finished because he'd got his revenge and it was all... I didn't care. Anyway. It was all a bit meh. Was. So is that what a uh, two Maybe and a half? Maybe two, two stars or something Yeah, like it's probably yeah. two and a half. Two and a half stars. Yeah, because you both know this story. Yeah. Um, Hagseed, Margaret Atwood, um, I think there is definitely a market for it and yeah. a lot of people that will love it. Um, I don't think it's a mainstream, yeah. anyone can pick it up and read it. It wasn't for it. us. No, it wasn't, it wasn't for us. We're not so, quite. next month, we picked a new book. I'm quite excited about this, we're all quite excited about this. It's called Alice yeah. by Christina Henry. And it is a... No, it's not called Alice, it's called Beware the Claws That Catch Alice. No, it's called Alice. Oh. <laughs> we just say that bit there. So it's pitched as a dark and deeply disturbing revisit of Alice's adventures in Wonderland. Sounds great. Yeah? Yeah, I'm excited. And it's the first of a chronicle of books um, on the same topic by the same author, so... This could be the first of many. It could, yeah. It reminds me, I once saw a play, terrible, terrible play, um, that was The Wizard of Oz, mm. but the point was Dorothy was in a mental institution um, and she'd kind of made up all of these characters and this whole thing that happened. Mm. Um, it okay. was awful, but I kind of feel like this is going to be like that, like yeah. Alice. But apparently it's quite a popular... Um, series of books, yeah. isn't it? So um, I'm looking forward to I'm it. I'm looking forward so to it. it. So uh, tune in next month to see what we thought of Alice. And if you've had the um, unfortunate um, experience of reading Hagsey by Margaret Atwood, <laughs> uh, unfortunate. then leave a comment in the uh, comment section below to let us know what you thought. Um, and subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you at Christmas, or just before Christmas, yeah. Um, Are we doing this at a Christmas party? Yeah. yeah. We'll wear hats. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll see you at Christmas. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.